Hello everybody. Um, I'm back with one more um, men's alteration video. Um, I'm going to show you how to shorten a man's dress shirt um, keeping this uh, curve here uh, for those who like it. Um, the first thing you're going to do, let's just say we're going to hem this uh, or shorten it by two inches. Um, let me see. So those buttons are going to have to go. So first thing we'll do is take those off. Now, depending on how much you take off, you might have an issue with the buttonhole, but because um, it probably won't be seen because it's tucked in, it shouldn't be an issue. If you wear it out, then it would probably be a problem, um, depending on where it's gonna be. Okay, so if you want it shortened two inches, the way I'm doing it, you're gonna pull that back and you're going to do one, you're gonna mark it with your chalk at one and three quarter inches. Now I've seen people, they create your line and then you cut it. And I can't do that because um, just I'm really kind of heavy handed and I would just be pulling on the fabric and it would stretch it out and so I take as many precautions as I can to make sure that it's gonna turn out right. And so you wanna make sure that those lines are nice and smooth. And sometimes, depending on my job, I will um, flip that over and, and mark it from the top, but because of this job and, and how precise I like to be. Um, I'm just gonna flip the shirt over and mark it on the back. Okay. Connect the dots. Um, now, normally I would take these tabs off, uh, shorten it and put it back on, but because this is just a demonstration, I'm not going to worry about it because when I change the shirt into whatever I want it to be, I'll probably end up losing this anyway. Now we are going to work from the inside facing up. You'll see the chalk line here, right here. We're gonna fold it right here, right on that line, and we're going to stitch as close to that fold, as close to that fold as we can, okay? And all you have to do is just take a little at a time. Because it's a curve, you don't want to go long stretches and then try to turn it. You want to do short bits and then readjust. Because on a curve, sometimes um, you'll end up, the fabric will end up folding because of the grain. So you go short, you readjust because you're going to end up with something like this on the curve and that's okay. When you're sewing that close to the, the fold, you're not gonna get any kind of um, uh, tucks in it.
These high points can be kind of tricky, but just work with your fabric as it moves around the curve. Now what we're going to do is get my duckbill scissors and I'm going to take this wide part and it's going to go right underneath here like this and I'm going to trim as close as I can to that seam line, that new hem. Just be careful not to cut into the stitches. Now, because we um, put that stitch in here, um, we just, we're just gonna fold up, um, let me find the other end. We're gonna fold it up just like this, like that. And we're gonna stitch right at this end here, this end of the fold, and that's it. And because we've already stitched this, this is gonna stabilize that whole edge of the fabric. So it's gonna be super easy. Okay, in the beginning, I added this because this um, right here is really thick and it wanted to get stuck um, on the feed dogs. So I stitched this and it just kind of helps it to go through a little easier, um, but I can clip that off. And then when you're finished, just clean up any threads and press it out.